Hey, Emmy fans! We just had another amazing night celebrating the best of television. There were big laughs, touching moments, and yes, even a few surprises. Big congrats to all the winners. You guys rock! From hilarious acceptance speeches to unexpected wins, the Emmys kept us on the edge of our seats. But one moment really got people talking, and it involved our favourite sharp-witted Brit, John Oliver, and a very good dog. Speaking of John Oliver, did you see his face when the music started playing? Classic! It's live TV, folks, and sometimes these things happen. But hey, it wouldn't be the Emmys without a little bit of unexpected fun, right? Stick around as we dive into all the Emmy highlights, from the heartwarming to the hilarious and everything in between. John Oliver, the king of satirical news, won big again for his show last week tonight. His sharp wit and insightful commentary have made him a favourite among viewers and critics alike. And this latest win only solidifies his place at the top of the late-night comedy world. But it was his acceptance speech that really stole the show and tugged at our heartstrings. As he took the stage to accept his award, the audience was already on the edge of their seats, anticipating what he might say. John, being John, started with a joke, lightening the mood and eliciting laughter from the crowd. But then he got personal, shifting the tone of his speech. He began talking about his dog, who we later found out had recently passed away. His voice softened as he shared memories of his loyal companion and the room grew quiet, everyone hanging on his every word. The audience was moved, hanging on his every word. But then it happened. Just as John was sharing a heartfelt anecdote about his furry friend, the playoff music began to swell. The sudden interruption was jarring. You could almost hear the collective gasp from the audience. It was a moment that should have been filled with empathy and understanding, but instead, it was cut short. The audience's reaction was immediate. Faces of shock and disappointment were visible throughout the room. It was clear that everyone felt the abrupt end to John's touching tribute. Producers later admitted they made a mistake, feeling terrible that they'd cut him off at such a sensitive moment. They said they had no idea he was talking about a beloved pet who had passed on. They expressed their regret, acknowledging the importance of the moment and how it resonated with so many people. It was a reminder of the unpredictable nature of live television. Live TV can be tricky, right? The timing, the cues, the unexpected moments, it all adds up to a high-pressure environment where mistakes can happen. But John, ever the pro, handled it like a champ. He chuckled, rolled with it, and even managed to get in a final message of love for all the good dogs out there. He chuckled, rolled with it, and even managed to get in a final message of love for all the good dogs out there. He reminded everyone that, despite the interruption, the sentiment remained the same. He even said they deserved a treat, which, let's be honest, they always do. The audience, despite the earlier mishap, responded with applause and laughter, appreciating John's grace and humour in the face of an awkward situation. OK, so this year's Emmys threw us a bit of a curveball. Instead of the usual dramatic build-up to the Best Drama Series Award at the end of the night, they decided to shake things up a bit. This year, Best Comedy Series was announced before Best Drama Series, leaving some viewers scratching their heads. Was this a sign of things to come? Are comedies the new dramas? Well, not quite. Producers spilled the tea, explaining it was all about the show's flow and timing. They wanted to make sure certain segments, like a special reunion and a tribute, landed at just the right moment. So, no conspiracy theories here, folks. Just a little behind-the-scenes Emmy magic. Section 4. Empty seats at the Emmys. 
Producers explain the seat filler shuffle. Did you notice a few empty seats during the ceremony? Hey, even at the biggest night in television, not everyone can stay glued to their seat all night long. Producers assured us that the empty seats were nothing to worry about, just a natural part of a live event with so many moving parts. Think about it. Presenters coming and going, winners rushing to the stage, bathroom breaks, hey it happens, and all those after-party plans. It's like a giant game of musical chairs. Producers explained that they do their best to fill empty seats during commercial breaks with seat fillers. These are the unsung heroes of award shows, making sure the audience always looks full and fabulous. So, next time you see an empty seat at the Emmys, don't jump to conclusions. It's probably just a seat filler taking a well-deserved break. Seat fillers are a crucial part of the event. Often, volunteers or aspiring actors who get a chance to be part of the glitz and glamour for a night. They are briefed on the importance of their role, ensuring that the audience looks packed and lively for the cameras. Producers emphasize the need for quick and quiet movements to avoid disrupting the live broadcast. For many seat fillers, it's a thrilling experience, a chance to see their favorite stars up close and be part of a major event. Some even share their experiences, expressing excitement and gratitude for the opportunity. So, the next time you watch the Emmys, remember the behind the scenes magic that keeps the show looking flawless. It's all thanks to the dedicated efforts of producers, event staff, and of course, the seat fillers. Section five, remembering the stars, the in memoriam segment and its selection process. This segment is one of the most poignant parts of any awards show, a moment of reflection amidst the celebration. The In Memoriam segment is always a bittersweet moment during the Emmys. It serves as a solemn reminder of the fragility of life and the enduring impact of those who have graced our screens. It's a chance to pay tribute to the talented individuals we've lost in the past year, those who've left an unforgettable mark on the world of television. Their performances, their creativity and their dedication have shaped the industry in countless ways. This year, some viewers noticed a few familiar faces missing from the tribute. This omission sparked conversations and even some controversy among fans and industry insiders alike. Producers were quick to clarify that they aren't the ones who decide who is included in this special segment. Their role is to ensure the segment is presented with the utmost respect and dignity. That responsibility lies with the Television Academy. The Academy has a dedicated committee that oversees the selection process, ensuring that each decision is made with careful consideration. They have a whole process for determining which individuals will be honored during the broadcast based on their contributions to the industry. This includes reviewing the careers and achievements of those who have passed away. It's a tough job and no doubt a lot of thought and care goes into it. The committee must balance the desire to honor as many individuals as possible with the constraints of the broadcast time. The In Memoriam is a reminder that while the show must go on, the legacy of those we've lost continues to inspire us. Their work lives on in the memories of audiences and in the fabric of the television industry itself. Each tribute is a heartfelt acknowledgement of their lasting influence and a promise that they will not be forgotten. Section six, from Emmys to hip hop to the Super Bowl, producers gear up for a busy season. Talk about a whirlwind year. The Emmy producers are barely catching their breath after pulling off another spectacular show and they're already hard at work on their next big projects. First up, the BET Hip Hop Awards. Get ready for some epic performances, fierce rhymes, and all the best of hip hop culture. And if that's not enough, they're also deep in planning mode for the 2025 Super Bowl halftime show. That's right, 
the biggest stage in music. And guess who's headlining? None other than the multi-talented, Pulitzer Prize winning Kendrick Lamar. Can you imagine the show these guys are going to put together? I'm already marking my calendar for that one. Section 7. Lessons Learned and Looking Ahead Emmy producers reflect on the show's success. So, what did we learn from this year's Emmys? For one thing, John Oliver loves his dog. Also, live TV is unpredictable. Seat fillers are the real MVPs. And Emmy producers are basically superheroes of entertainment. They manage to juggle multiple high-pressure events, all while making it look effortless. From the hilarious to the heartwarming, the 2024 Emmys delivered another unforgettable night of celebrating the power of television. And with the BET Hip Hop Awards and the Super Bowl halftime show on the horizon, it's clear these producers aren't slowing down anytime soon. I don't know about you, but I can't wait to see what they come up with next.